Hi, I'm Katie Palenchar, and I lead the Female Innovators Lab by Barclays and Anthemis. And today we're super excited to have Kea Maj Mandar, the founder and CEO of SwayPay. And last fall, we launched the Female Innovators Lab as a fund and venture studio dedicated to supporting um, female founders. And this one is a special one today as SwayPay was the first company we invested in, and we're super happy to have Kea here with us as a guest. Thanks, Katie. Super excited to be here. So Kea, before we jump in, can you share what SwayPay is? Sure. So SwayPay is an alternative payment method that plugs into any online retailer and allows shoppers to earn the best discounts by splitting their payment in part dollars, part social media posts, featuring their order directly at the point of sale. Thanks Kea. And since COVID-19 has accelerated e-commerce growth trends tremendously, we wanted to feature a segment that highlights how founders of their own e-commerce business can use these tips to grow. And who better suited to share these insights than you, Kea? So take it away with today's top five. Number one, sell what's already selling with a twist. Number two, invest in brand. Number three, 80-20 to 2080 rule. Number four, don't rely too heavily on Facebook and Instagram ads. Number five, nothing beats social proof from customers. So tip number one is sell what's already selling. The easiest way to go about doing this is going on Amazon and identifying a couple categories that you're super interested in selling. And within those categories, identify top three products that are selling in those categories. A great, and put, put your own spin on it. A great example of this is a company called Dude Wipes which sells personal cleaning wipes specifically for men. And that was their twist that they put on it and they're doing super well. The second tip is invest in brand. While it's actually pretty easy to sell a product for the first time to a first customer without a super strong brand, what keeps people coming back is your brand voice and your brand authenticity. This doesn't mean you have to spend a ton of money on this. There are great resources like Penji and Design Pickle, which allow you to pay no more than two to $300 a month to continuously uh, deliver a strong brand for your product and for your customers. Tip number three is what I like to call the 80-20 to 2080 rule. That means spend 80% of your time on unsustainable growth tactics and 20% of your time on sustainable tactics. And then eventually you flip the script there. An example of this is in the early days, just text your friends, go to Facebook, Facebook groups, reddits, uh, subreddits, and sell your product directly to customers then eventually move over to things like Instagram and Facebook ads. That being said, brings me to tip number four, don't rely too heavily on Facebook and Instagram ads. And that really just comes back to making sure that you keep your thumb on the pulse of your customers themselves and continue communi communicating directly with your customers. Lastly, tip number five, nothing beats so social proof from your customers. So that means really leverage user generated content, really leverage reviews from your customers, Ultimately, your customers are the best vehicle to tell your story. Thank you, Kea, for sharing your insights. It was fantastic having you, especially as our first founder here on the top five. For more information on SwayPay, please click the link below. And at the Female Innovators Lab by Barclays and Anthemis, we're excited to continue to support, invest, and build female-founded fintech businesses. Uh, we look forward to the next top five. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.